Hello everyone and welcome to this discussion about uh, ways you can check how high your case number is. And to do that, we'll first look at the numbers uh, and that is for DV2025 selectees. So there's a video I've done on uh, other details about DV2025. So if you've not checked, maybe you can check it and let me go straight to the total number of people who qualified and submitted their application for dv 2025 for about 19 million 19 million nine hundred and twenty seven thousand six hundred and fifty six and the people who have been selected who are prospective applicants who have been selected or the selectees for the DV 2025 are approximately 131,060. And this 131,060 selectees, uh, there has been, there are 55,000 visas which are made available for the DV 2025. However, out of the 55,000, there's around 5,000 uh, 5, that has been set aside for a certain program, that is for NACARA program. So there is a limit of approximately 51,350 visas that will be allocated to now the people who will qualify out of the 131 thousand and sixty selectees and the reason there is the number of selectees is more than the visas made available is because not everyone is actually going to uh, complete the process as you all know you after being selected you need to submit your ds260 and fill it correctly and then you have to appear for interview and there are costs that are involved in maybe uh, maybe going for your medical examination and so there are many things that would make some people drop out of the process it could be either maybe up out of, of financial constraints and someone is unable to continue or maybe the main applicant uh, could also maybe unluckily die and therefore the other uh, dependent cannot proceed with the process and there are those that will go for the interview but unfortunately they fail in the DV interview so that's why the number is higher this is to make sure that all the 55,000 visas will actually be allocated to DV2025 selectives before this program uh, ends. Therefore, you need uh, to know if your case number is high or not, because this is something else you need to consider as a DV2025 selectee. However, at this point, you need to make sure you've submitted your DS260 without uh, necessarily having to consider whether it's high or not and this is the reason why you are to go for interview in different u.s embassies and there are various things that could affect your chances of getting to dv interview i've done an inter uh, video where i explain the various things that must be done or completed uh, for you to uh, be able to be allocated a slot for DV inter interview in the U.S. Embassy where you have uh, indicated as your place for the interview. So you can also check that uh, video and get um, tips on what to look out for in the coming months <coughs> concerning your embassy performance to know whether you're on the uh, right track or it might affect you to some point because you could be having a low case number yet the performance of the u.s embassy where you're supposed to go for your interview could uh, not be so good and therefore affect your chances you could also be having a high case number 
but the u.s embassy where you're going to do your interview it is performing well and therefore you get a chance so it is not <clears throat> it can happen that you have a low case number but your the performance in the u.s embassy affects you and someone else would have a high case number but the the u.s embassy where they're supposed to go for their interview is doing well and therefore they get a chance so each one of you should go ahead and submit their ds260 if you've not done so so as you can tell so there is 101 and 60 selectees for the dv 2025 therefore let's say your case number is 38,000. one thing you need to note is that it doesn't mean there is 37,000 people before you and this is the reason why uh, there are numbers between uh, 0 and 38,000 the one that you have which are actually holes holes are numbers that do not have an active case number so it means you could be having a 38,000 and something case number but the actual case numbers between zero and that number that you have is less and that is the case in most of the uh, situations so uh, there is a way you're able to tell how many case numbers are before you how many case numbers are uh, <coughs> uh, after you and also you can tell then the highest case number in your region that has submitted the ds to 64 and to do that i'll go to another site where you do that and that is the dv uh, charts okay and search for it and open it so from the from this point you can be able to get the information on the number of case numbers uh, uh, for example for the dv 2024 they are able to tell from this point let me scroll down and you can check how many case numbers are in front of you by filling out the form uh, below they can type their case number in this area and check this is for the dv 2024 if your case number is 2024 af uh, 126 you can type it here and check but for the dv 2025 selectees at this time you cannot be able to check the number of case numbers you are and this is because the information or the data that is in this site is not yet uh, updated this, this means that the dv2025 data has not been published on this site yet but it will be done later on this year that is once uh, the beginning of 2025 and i'll be informing my followers immediately this information is published so that they can be able to check for themselves how many case numbers are in front of them also from this site <coughs> This is where you can also tell how your embassy is performing. For example, as a DV2024, from this point, you can tell uh, how many visas have been issued from that embassy, from this the green color in this graph, how many cases, how many visas are ready, how many are in administrative processing how many have been refused and how many are in 221g that is from this embassy which is uh, let me open this is the abu dhabi united arab emirates you're able to tell by just clicking for example when i click at this point i'm able to tell that at this point they are between case number 40,001 to 44,001 that is the point where they are processing and the four have been issued zero are ready zero are in administrative processing 221g1 and refused they have zero so 
this is where also you'll be able to check uh, the various embassies where you uh, you come from how they are performing you can tell it from here and then to tell the the highest case number which has submitted the uh, uh, ds to 60 form you will come to this point and download a csv form a csv form which i'll be doing later on this year once it has been published i'll be showing you how to do that you download the csv file and once you've downloaded it then you can um you can be able to tell from the form is how you can order the the case numbers and see which one is the is that has submitted the ds to 60 form which i'll be doing later on so from here you can also download that and see how high um your case number is from the rest of the case numbers from your region so this is to tell you that as for now you cannot actually tell how high your case number is but you'll be able to do that later on but don't worry as you can see there is a hundred and that one thousand and sixty selectives against the 55,000 visas so do your best for now and just hope that hope for the best uh, fingers crossed that your u.s embassy performs well so that you get an opportunity to get to dv interview uh for uh, which is like the uh, almost the final part of the this uh, process so for now many is to wish you all the best as you begin the interviewing uh, once dv 2025 interviewing uh, starts and follow me for for you to get updates in case there will be any updates happening i'll see you all in the next one Bye.